What's up, y'all? My name is Katie. You don't get to know my full name. I do not like my full name. I have a problem and I gotta fix it. And I just thought I would document it so that way other girls who might be in my particular situation might know what I'm going through. My oldest sister is getting married and my youngest sister is getting married. Now here's the thing about being the middle child and not getting married. It's that everybody wants me to be dating. But my standards are just so high, like so high, that I don't quite know even where to begin to find my dream husband. I thought that I would document my journey going through Tinder. I will tell you about these men's profiles, what draws me to them, what turns me away from them. We will go through all of it because if you're like me and you don't have a husband on your radar, but your oldest and your youngest sister do, this is for you. So when you first register for Tinder, what it's gonna do is it's gonna ask you for all of your information. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create my profile right now. We're gonna do it right live right in front of you. So my name is Katie. I'm 23, I'm single. I'm a little bit of hip hop. I'm a little bit of country, a lot of it country. And I'm looking for my forever man. So already looking. He's 24, he's educated. Oh my God, he's liberal. So in case y'all didn't know, you swipe to the left when you don't like him and to the right when you do like him. This one, this one, his name is uh, Christopher. Christopher is getting a big fat old swipe to the left. Okay, this guy has one picture, only one, but it's him holding a great big bass. His name is Traver. That's kind of exotic when you think about it, Traver. It's not Travis, it's not Trevor, it's Traver. That is exotic. I'm getting a little butterflies, I don't even know him. Let's just, let's just keep going through his profile. Traver, 23, with the big bass. I think this one's gonna have to get a swipe right, ladies. And let me just give you a quick little rundown. If you register for a dating site, whether that be Tinder, Christian Mingle, FarmersOnly.com, whatever it may be, and you see a photo of a man holding a fish, you swipe right on that man. He deserves your swipe right more than any other man I can really think of. A man who holds a fish is a man who holds Jesus in his heart. That is a man who above all else respects God's creations. That man went out on a boat into the ocean, took a fish out of its natural habitat, held it up to take a picture, and he put that photo as his best photo of himself on a date nap so you would see it and so you would know who he is right off the bat. That is a man that you swipe right on and I don't want to see any of y'all doing any differently. Anyways, y'all, I've already swiped right on Travers. We're just going to keep it moving along. I really hope I match with him. Oh my God. Okay. I'm just going to keep going for you guys because even though I feel like Trevor might be my soulmate, I'm just going to keep going through some more profiles. Okay. We have Michael. All right. Michael's got a few photos in here. Um, first off, it says Republican. All right. Already a good sign. It says here that he's Christian. So that's good. He's a man of God. So we can trust it because everything that people put in their Tinder profiles is totally true. Okay, so when I go down, the next photo of him is him drinking a coffee at a cafe. Now, I know some of us like our Starbucks Frappuccinos, but ladies, just hear me out. I'm gonna explain why it might be a little bit of a red flag to me. Coffee contains caffeine. If you are like really, really, really and truly of this country lifestyle, this Southern lifestyle that I live every day, like, I wake up at 5 a.m. because my body wakes me up at 5 a.m. I'm ready to start my day, do my eyebrows, do my eyeliner, get out, and feed the horses at 5. I don't need coffee to wake me up in the morning to carry out my day and my duties. So, when I see coffee in Michael's hand here, I just get a little bit concerned because I'm thinking he might be addicted to caffeine. He might need that little extra boost in the morning and um, that is just not something that sits right with me. So the coffee thing, that's just like, that's just like kind of, you know, rang a little alarm bell in my head. So I'm just gonna encourage you to, you know, find your stance on how you personally feel about caffeine and coffee, um, and then make your decision from there. But that's, those are just, those are just my two cents. Okay, girls, 
So I'm just gonna go through one more profile while I wait for Trevor and I to match. So we have Elon, Elon, E-L-O-N. This, this is an interesting name. I'm gonna try to move past Elon. I can't even say it, it doesn't. That is not a name that occurs in nature. Elon, Elon, I don't, I don't understand why somebody would name their child that. That doesn't make any sense to me. Moving on. You can't fault people for their names, especially because I've, as I've mentioned previously, I'm not a big fan of my full name. So Elon has one picture on his profile as well. It is one photo of him with the Snapchat flower crown thing from like 2016. Was that filter really popular? So already this is telling me his photo might be a little bit outdated. So I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, okay, he has a weird name. He's got Snapchat filter. So it's probably a big swap to the left. But ladies, there is a redeeming quality in this photo here. Elon is wearing a bright orange vest that looks just like the ones that my daddy got at Bass Pro Shops. So this is telling me that he is a country boy and he has a little potential here. And I know you could call me a little crazy, but let me tell you something, girls. You go a little crazy when you got two sisters getting married and everybody's putting this pressure on you to date. Oh my God. Oh my God, y'all, y'all. <laughs> y'all, I, I cannot make this up right now. Trevor and I matched. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I conclude uh, this first uh, little video on a high note here. A quick little thing. Uh, one of the biggest problems with my last relationship was that uh, when I spoke, uh, he didn't like that. So before I send a message to Trevor, I just wanna like run what I'm gonna say by my, by my sissy real quick. Um, little sissy, yeah. No, 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 I matched with this really cute guy, his name is Trevor. No, 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 not Trevor. Trevor, with an A. Little Sissy said the same thing that I said, Sissy. He's exotic. I said he sounded exotic. All right, y'all, I'm gonna head out so that way I can, you know, craft the best message to send to my future husband, Trevor. Anyways, uh, thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all be careful out there swapping right and left. Make sure you know your worth. You know what you want, and you make sure that you go get it, ladies. All right, y'all have a great rest of your day, and God bless you all.